Quanto Cuesta, mi amigos. Uh, okay. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you're muted, Carl. Yeah, you're muted. <clears throat> I guess I oh. should have said mis amigos. That would have been proper. <laughs> 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 so proper thanks I get told that a lot uh, hi hello uh, are we going uh, I think we're going uh, I think we are uh, can't tell what is the uh, Carl has become static now he's static uh, quo <laughs> kind of mean oh Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> all right. This good. day is now over. See y'all later. Clip the bad George jokes. Clip them. <laughs> that one's even an inside joke. That wouldn't even make sense to anyone who doesn't know you. The worst. <laughs> I'm going first. Yesterday I made shit picker. It worked. Next. Shit picker? <laughs> Shit picker. <laughs> That's what I heard. No, oh. ship picker. Ship, ship picker, ship picker. It does sound like ship picker. You're right. <laughs> wow. I didn't even realize that. Okay, well, I'll have to be more, I'll have to pronunciate my P's a little more purposefully. Preposterous. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, so ship picker uh, was implemented. Um, I'm in the middle of doing some more cosmetic fixes to it to make it have a nicer layout and flow. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get much more done today. And then tomorrow, um, I, we should discuss at the end of stand-up uh, what I will be tackling tomorrow because I don't know what I will be tackling tomorrow. Um, so uh, currently, I have nothing slated for tomorrow. Or I guess whatever. Oh, bye. He's gonna work on being a robot. Beep boop beep boop 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 beep beep. He, he is a robot from the waist. He he vids doing the like robot hand snippet. Mm -hmm. I pick Hans. Oh damn. Damn. This is like uh, it's like the Brady Bunch. Here's a story of a little developer who was making UI and hated it. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh Shut never up, mind. One. I know why you don't know that, Brandon. I know why you don't know that. <laughs> You're like, what? Okay, well, I picked Hans. You can go anytime you want. I don't think any <laughs> wow. of us heard that, or at least I sure uh, didn't hear that. Okay. Oh, Hi. my bad. Uh, so, uh, yesterday was, uh, we talked through a lot of, uh, production planning, um, which I think was good. I think we got a good idea around where we're going to go, where we're going next for steam, which is great. Um, spent, uh, the rest of the time, uh, digging into the post-process volume stuff that was set up by jean Eric, um, and kind of get an idea how that works. I checked in a change today that should address some of Carl's concerns in terms of the post-process volume. Um, uh, and I checked it into both maps. So the, the old map and the new map, in case we swap back and forth, should have the same effects. Um, but basically, overall, it should eliminate uh, some of the extreme uh, highlighting that was occurring um, while still leaving some of the Fresnel highlights and the halftone bloom and stuff like that. Um, so it should just sort of reduce some of that extreme element. So um, if it's looking weird or looking problematic, let me know. Um, but uh, I think it's a good place to level set. Um, and then I dove into uh, the planets. So I started working on uh, a new way to take uh, massed inputs uh, for um, target files, so we can basically create a different, like a four layer mask for each one of the planet types. Um, so in the materials, we can swap between them, which is uh, making it a lot easier. Um, so that's working out well. Um, 
I should have within the next few hours, uh, I should have the first pass utilizing that technique um, for the gas giant, um, I'm hoping. Uh, and then I'll move on to Molten, Ice, and Baron. Um, and at that point, That's I think we should, have, we should have something that, that at least kind of makes them feel a little more cohesive. Um, the desert planet is pretty dramatic, and so I'm trying to figure out how I make the others that dramatic. equally dramatic without <laughs> without it uh, being like, oh, now we're back right where we were before. But we'll see. Um, so my guess is predominantly uh, today's going to be going through the rest of sort of the visual look and feel stuff to try and at least get it consistent for the push we want to do tomorrow. Um, I would love to briefly touch base with George to see if he needs any uh passes in terms of the ship picker ui stuff if there's anything he wants worked on or anything of that sort to be ready for tomorrow um so we can touch base at the end of this if you want uh, okay um, and then be available for anything else we might need for the build tomorrow and then start prepping the build so that's my day uh, i choose will um Yesterday, I solved some bugs. Um, that's pretty much all I did. I did not sleep very well. And oh, I, more than that, yesterday you got the the all the ship generation stuff in. That was yesterday. I guess I did what uh, Ant said. <laughs> you did <big> things. <laughs> <laughs> it actually works. Oh God. <laughs> I am no. not confident that I will be getting anything done today, but I intend to play test and write up notes. And I had a dream last night about moving people on our ships from installation to installation that I was going to try and write up because it might be good for um, uh, fiddly stuff when we're looking for more fiddly stuff to do, or it might just okay. be the dumbest idea ever because I dreamed it. Um, so down, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm planning on playtesting and writing up dreams. Um, and if there's <laughs> anything else you would like, please tell me. I'm happy to help. To fall bugs anywhere. You um, are surprisingly poetic when you're sleep deprived. I'm gonna go with Carl. Uh, what did I even do yesterday? Um, yesterday I had a one on one with Brendan. Um, we had the planning meeting, uh, I feel like I did some other stuff, but I don't really remember what, um, uh, I pinged a couple folks that I know to try and help get some more signal boosting to happen, um, to mixed results, um, and then I published the design time we had pending, so that's up and linkable, and you can do it. It's funny because it was like the next one in the queue to do was actually about the drafting ship picker. Um, and so I was like, oh, hey, this is handy. Like, if you're watching our stand-ups, we're implementing this right now. <laughs> um, so that was, huh. that was a, a, fun, a fun lining up of things. Um, Good job. Yeah, we totally planned go, it. Go team. Woo! We did it. We're the <laughs> best. We're the best social mediaists ever. Uh, sure. Uh, 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 I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do some stuff. Whatever is needed. Uh, just ping me and let me know. Sorry, I don't. I'm not good at planning days. <laughs> I sort of just I sort of just wallow in anxiety until I do stuff and then I do stuff. <laughs> Ma, scratch not good at planning days and just scratch days out and put right in life. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> accurate. The, the deep I, so <laughs> I like it. We love you, Carl. Do you go, Anthony? <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, yesterday I had made uh, rings, like finished up the ring, ring stuff on the main bodies, and then in the afternoon I got dismantling functional on ships and hooked up through UI. So there's a little dismantle button. You click the dismantle button, 
and then it puts a little X over any installation that can actually be dismantled. And then you click the X on the installation, and the installation goes poof, gone. Yay. And you get get some resources back, a small amount. So you can't cool. you can't actually build. You can't. You can, there's no way to make profit on this by building and like killing things, even with the power that reduces building by half. So, uh, no no infinite resource gaining for anybody. Um, oh. But it poofs, it goes away, and the abilities go away. Um, so that got all in yesterday. Uh, today, I spent most of the morning... Uh, George pick, checked in the ship picker, and I've actually playing with it. It gave me the crash on the resource bucket consistently, too. Because Ooh. ships are being destroyed. Consistently using it. Ah. And so I could finally go in and figure out what the hell was going on there. And I think I, I've played multiple times through the ship picker and a couple jumps now. And I'm not getting the crash at all anymore. And so now you can ships, when they're destroyed, tell the global resource pool, hey, unregister all my buckets, please. Um, Fuck yeah. Because, yeah, that was pretty much the issue. There was like ten, bu nine, nine buckets when you started the game. And only, and well, most of them were garbage. So uh, now you only have buckets remaining for the ships actually in your fleet. Um, yeah. So, uh, maybe that's fixed now, hopefully. Eh? <laughs> it's one of those bugs where I'm like, crashes, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I think, we'll maybe. See. Um, so that's that. Uh, the rest of today, I want to be playing and uh, addressing any of the other, any bugs that I find for just stability for, for making a build tomorrow. Um, and... Was Tyson doing more icons? Like, even if we didn't do the shapes right now, does I have to ask if he has the stuff checked in because he made individual icons for all the different powers and installations <laughs> beyond backgrounds. Oh and I, yeah, and I would love to just I would love icon. to just toss those in, replace the ones that we have, even if we still just use the square buttons for everywhere and just. I agree them. with that. Because well, they're better than gameicons.net so uh i i believe he was going to come back and do some more but it looked like he had gotten a bunch of them done he got quite a few done so i feel like i might just they're easy enough to just replace the copy them over the source source art um image and then just re-import through unreal and we'll just pick up all the changes so yeah, I'll probably do that today um, as well, if I can. Uh, he did post something in Art UI while we were in standout. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, cool. And he said he'll be back around 1231-ish to continue to do work. So. Okay, cool. And then Awesome. Yeah, I'll try to get that in, because that'll look great. Um, yeah, that'll be my day, probably. Uh, it is Tiffany's birthday today, so. Oh, Happy yeah. birthday, Tiffany. Yeah. Happy birthday to her. So. Oh, okay. Happy birthday <laughs> to her. Can can you get Happy her in here for the awkward birthday? Oh, no, she's not at not the house. Can you call her on your call phone? Call her. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we must no, torture her. Not, she would not appreciate that right now. I think she would appreciate just how hilariously awkward it is. She would appreciate that. I just don't think she'd appreciate a call at exactly the place she's working right now. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that will. So I'll probably stop a bit earlier because I'm making dinner and everything tonight. So. Cool. Um, who hasn't gone? Brandon hasn't gone. Um, so, yesterday... To be honest, I don't actually remember what I did in the morning, but I know I did something, uh, and I still haven't figured it out despite sitting here thinking about it this entire Resource time. Resource bucket stuff? Resources? Oh, that's did what I did. The balance that pass, is, I thought you Yeah, that it. is what I did yesterday morning. Cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Doing great. Doing great this morning, Brandon. Um, and then after that, had a one-on-one -on -one with Carl, um, after which uh, did a bunch of research on uh, streamers that are within a very narrow band of uh, criteria that we might just want to cold call. So I have a list of those. I think I have a list of like 10 um, that we can just 
hit up and see what happens. Uh, have and then after that went through the world building document and dropped probably way too much feedback. Um, but I did that. So here we are now. Um, today I do want to spend a lot of time playtesting in the uh, draft phase. I'm going to call it the draft phase because after Ant went, every time I, he said ship picker, I heard shit picker. So, you know. Me too. Yep. So we'll do some play testing there. I still need to also play test for a bunch of the resource stuff because I'm sure we need to tune some numbers. Um, I need to do that event text pass because I just still haven't done it because I'm bad. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably continue mining for more like low range or mid range viewer streamers that we can just cold call because I feel like we probably just want a list of like 30 people to knock on. And uh, yeah, that's my day. I will be relocating at some point this afternoon to go to the game store for X Wing tonight. Uh, but yeah, I think that's. Everybody. Unfortunately, I heard you talk about a list of streamers. So if you could coordinate with me, I, I... impossible to coordinate. Laps. Oh, oh god, damn it! I'm pretty physical. sure that we can assume that George is saying coordinate with him because he has some streamers. Maybe. Yes, yes, Ant. That is what I was saying. I caught the tail end of that. Dope. Feel like uh, that's right. that's very doable. All uh, right, who's playtesting? I am. Oh, me Everybody too. Everybody in the I'm club. Going to do that. Never mind. I'm gonna pull one more time because I just don't believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Boop boop boop. Someone's sharing boop, their audio. Boop. Which is good. Kind of here for it, though. I'm here for it. There it is. Ooh. Ah. Uh... Um. Yay, ship picker. Yay, draft is that... phase. Is there a reason it's why not... sometimes you only draft phase instead of three ships? RNG. Yep, it's entirely dependent on what the random number the computer. Okay. We Sometimes can make rules around it. Sometimes yeah. it gives you three. Okay. It's, it was just arbitrary. I was like, eh, let's just put a min and max in here in case we feel like having it be uh, arbitrary. Like, you know, you jump to a planet, there happen to be two ships there. You jump to another That's one, there happen ship. to be three. That's a better ship. Uh, what do I need? I have an exploit. I have an open medical ship. Comes with some fuel. Nothing else, but has open points. And I also have... What's that one? Cancel all quests. Or an aggressive exploit. Uh, but it has... More fuel. Uh, let's go with that one. Oh, wow. Okay, a medical ship with some stuff. Wow, that's or... a lot of fuel. Code. Hey, I'm winning. That's a lot, lot of fuel. We might, I'm winning. We might need to tune. <laughs> I'm winning. If I might, I mean, definitely. How much is that? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 fuel already? Long range scan. I don't have a long range scan. Do I want belay or do I want bold Fuel. gambit? Jeez. I already have. Oh, I have that. So let's let's. Uh, but I want the fuel. But I'll take this side ship. Cool. Um. All right. Well, that needs the change. Okay. Um, note, a uh, ship should not be on screen and then jump in, uh, then disappear and then jump in. They should be all hidden and then jump in. Um, they should default when they're created to hidden. Um, if that's happening, it's probably because they're not defaulting to hidden. 
Yeah, I'll f Ooh. just bug it, bug is it that... to make sure that we know. Is that this the... is the new. This is the new lighting. Yeah, I like it. It looks quite a bit better. <clears throat> oh my I really God. dig it. Look at those. Oh, look at those yeah, windows. Look, look at those windows. Nice. Good. I'm glad you. It right. does look a lot better. <clears throat> All right. What do we got here? We have a science ship. Oh Who's my god, one of my ships is called the Ghost Bear. How could I choose anything else? <laughs> if it's oh, suboptimal, you would choose anything It has hydroponics else. unpowered. We should upgrade your reactor. Scan. You have a scan. <laughs> scan. And a hydroponics. What? That's, that's good. Um... Upgrade your reactor. And how do I see my persona power? It's in the abilities list. Where's the abilities list? It's the row of icons beneath the row of icons that shows installation. Okay, what's this guy's power? Mm -hmm. I'll bet you money it's a passive. You may not have one. Oh my god. I'll bet it, I bet it is a passive, because a passive Could we have. write down that we want passives to show up? Yes. In, uh, in draft phase? Yeah. Oops, that's doing. Can somebody, I yeah, can someone write that? Thank you, because um, I was trying to reduce the amount of things that were running, so I not have my internet uh, another UI thing here um, the tick downs alerts are on top of the ship menu making it very hard mm. for me to select the buttons that get pushed over to the side so that should be flipped yeah, sh the ship should ship be always should be, be the uh, yeah is he ordered up uh, nope that's crappy. That's I think these buttons are focusable. Which ones? The draft buttons. I had to double click it. Uh, fix them. So Shut I already changed the 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 little one, two, and three to be not focusable. Yeah. Uh, also, something else that sorry. could be focused. Well, make sure. Was that the first time you clicked into the window? Maybe. Because that's I mean, it will it check. it does do that. You might have to double click whenever if like when we're starting in the editor, it pops a window. You have to like select the window first and then it starts taking button input. Mm. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with the focus state. That's just uh, the actual game wouldn't function that way. It seems like this game's gonna be way easier. Maybe. With the draft. It probably needs phase. to be e easier. I agree. <laughs> I did make the uh, resources a little bit harder than before, so it's probably good then. That you have a little bit more to start out with? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I have so many resources. I'm just going to upgrade everyone. Alright, maybe it's time to reduce the number of resources in space again. Uh, we, we could just reduce the stuff in the ship picker too. Uh, if you go to ship picker, ship picking phase dot JSON, um, <laughs> the mins and maximums can be changed for because every ship comes with its own uh, set of stuff. Guys, I started with seventeen fuel. I am going places. Well, that's good for uh, you three. Do you have three five pounds. ships though, so you have to spend yeah. five fuel per. That's a pretty significant quantity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right now the ship picker is 100% random, but um, if we want it to be slightly more, um, what's the word? Uh, not balanced, but I guess yeah, balance is the right word, where the ships are more in aligned with each other in what they bring. Um, there's a, a there's a number we can use in the JSON that's currently on you, which it kind of identifies how many percentage bars worth of each of the five total of the five things below we we fill up. So like you know, if there's three hundred percent worth of the five things, then you could have like uh, 
50% of four of them and 100% of the last one, right, as an example, because that's 300% worth of the stuff. And it's the percentage from the minimum to the maximum. So that could be a way to keep it more balanced um, instead of just having runs where it's like, I got nothing versus I got everything. But I actually don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Just keep playing with it. If it feels really off, we'll change it. All right, let's see if this works. Oh my god. What? I just have so much shit. Well, you're also like, look at it. You look at you spend. Uh, I'm spend at least spending my resources. I haven't Actually, jumped yet, and I already no, have 24 fuel, 500 metal. <laughs> 400. How do you have 500 metal? I didn't even. How do you have That's 24 insane. fuel? Because he's been producing fuel. Um, well, I just I produced fuel once. I started with 17. Oh jeez. I have 24. Uh, oh, I haven't used the fuel factory yet. I upgraded my fuel factory. No, I want to. Okay. Is it clear to everyone that I should at least just do a pass of reducing everything by a, a little bit or not? Should we play would, with it a couple more times? I would play it. I did continue. I haven't even finished right this now. game. I'm probably going to lose. I've never. I, I wouldn't make any kind of crazy big balancing it. Like I want to see how far I can even get. Like, yeah, I just like to brag. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not completely <laughs> convinced that. Uh, uh, I'd love to see. Uh, mark this on a clarity thing. I would love to know what level my abilities are at. Mm, that's a good point. Because I don't know. I think this is this. Is this what I upgraded? Do you have that, Carl? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Wait. Why can't I use you? Oh, because you went offline. I don't need you in there. There we go. Produce a bunch of fuel. We're going to get a bunch of stuff from there. Sweet, and completed all my quests. Oh, but I bet I haven't long reached again. I haven't shit. Oh, I'm just ignoring my quests. That's a bad plan, isn't it? It is a bad plan. It's actually, no, never mind. It's the best plan. Trust me. If I start an exploit on a planet that I will someday have fully scanned uh, before I finish the exploit, will I get every? Yeah. I just did it. <laughs> just checking. So, uh, as long as that scan fit, as long as that scan finishes before the exploit. Um, guess you say. Probably on here. I'm gonna feel. Oh, I've got two scuttles. God, I'm OP. Let's scuttle this shit all the way over. Scuttle is insane, guys. Oh, I accidentally completed some quests. Woo! Uh-oh, I'm hopeless. Damn it. Why am I scuttling so much? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there we go. I'm probably okay. Let's jump and get out of here. Uh, we should... Uh, Notabug, when you hit the jump button and bring up the uh, galaxy view, we should pause the game. Hmm. There's no reason that you could keep running. You're Why? still recording these, right, Carl? Yeah, I got it. Ooh, 
that's a cool looking system. Holy crap. It's a big ass frozen desert. Alright, find and gather food. Use the fuel factory. Upgrade an installation. Oh man, I'm having a hell of a party. Three grand <laughs> celebrations in a row. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, number four. Sorry. Oh, there's that thing you did last time. What did you guys call that again? It's an air horn, George. Okay, air horn. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? I like how you're acting weird. You're the one that didn't know the Brady Bunch theme, dork. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Generational differences illustrated on stream. We're only 15 years apart. Oh shit, we're 15 years apart. No, we're not. Wait, how old are you Wait, again? I'm 26. Oh, never mind. We're 13 years. No, yeah, 12 years apart. 23. And some change. I wish I could, um,. I wish I could upgrade my grand celebrations. The grandest celebration. celebration. Yeah, I want a grand. No, no, it'd be grand celebration, grander celebration, and then grandest <laughs> celebration. Grandest. M -m -m monster celebration. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I think that food is the best thing because when you get food, you can just have parties, and everyone likes parties. In case you guys, I are mean, yes. How to play typically, this game. humans are happy when they're fed well. So I, I had that, pasta today. I'm not gonna upgrade installation. Oh man, we went to a great pasta restaurant last night. Um, called Cola Pasta. Did you eat pasta? All we did was eat pasta. We ordered two of everything on the menu. It was amazing. How many were? How many people were there? Brands like me. It, it was just Brandon. It was just me. <laughs> just me. No, they're, you're they're damn twenty-six year olds and your fucking metabolisms. I don't know. My metabolism isn't metabolism isn't great. <laughs> uh oh. Has it has it already fled? What's up? Look, it fled when I was oh. like nineteen. Content. <laughs> is below hopeful. I didn't realize that. Yes, I thought yeah. my morale was going in the wrong direction because I've just had so many parties. I didn't notice how high it was. <laughs> po, 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 party. I think I overdid the party. I mean, if you're still playing, you're, you're, oh, you're only on jump four. But I've got 21 fuel or 20 fuel and I'm content and I have hella resources. Oh, god damn it. I didn't long range scan. Damn it. Alright, find together against them. I'm still not super fond of the way that we select ships right now. Hey, right here, it says I have no open hard points, and yet I have a square in the powered section. It's not, it isn't actually a hard Ooh. point. It's a weird point. What is it? Actually, your, I don't know why. Is it your reactor could power a hard point, but you don't have any? That's possible. I bet. That's likely. So if a reactor... Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, we have to Let's see. Factions are... Mm, Legion's not happy. Yeah, so we'll have to add a power used and hard points used. Yeah, I added a bug for it. Hans, if you um, get a chance today, could you take the playthrough ship picker like once or twice and 
see if there's any UI stuff oh, you my. notice that needs to be changed. Sure. God. Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> hey, George, or Carl, can you add me a add me a card for today that is just uh, ship picker polish, ship draft polish, whatever. Ship picker. We should just. I mean, this should be a meme now. Ship picker. Because I'm I'm literally saying ship picker, but it sounds like ship picker. I love it. George right does now, love I'm the poop jokes. Oh, I, I do. We all love it. Yeah. <laughs> I think belay that order is probably. Uh, it makes you succeed every quest. Whoops. I don't Whoops. think it's supposed to make you succeed. It's just supposed to get rid of them. It's new. It's supposed to be neutral. Um. So mark that one. Belay that order. <laughs> Oh, makes you automatically you. win every quest. It's fantastic. Oh wait, sorry. To clarify, belay that order does not make you succeed every quest. I, I just, just used it, and it does. Because it telling, just gave. Hey, it gave I'm telling all... you, I literally, as the person who implemented it, I originally implemented it so that it showed the word fail, and it felt bad. So I changed it so it showed the word success, but it does not give you any of the bonuses. Well, all my factions Back. went up. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. I, I put it right on a different line. It skips all of the bonuses. Well, all my factions went up. I'm just telling you, write the bug. It's there. It happened. You can clip it, too. <laughs> Actually, I don't know Round if I'm two. showing you or if Wait. I'm showing uh, just kidding. Oh. Will. Yeah, I was showing Will. Yeah, they all went up. It was great. Um... Hey, George, I know where this was, or I used to know where this was, and for some reason this morning I cannot find it. Where is the array think? that the materials map to the planet types? Do you remember off the top of your head? That I can dig in and find it if you can't question. remember. I huh. used to know. I used it just like two days ago, but I have no recollection of where it was. <clears throat> no, I, I cannot the house. change what is house. powered. Oh. Hmm. You, you can't, can't change what's powered now? I can depower things. I can't un uh, undepower them. Nothing like undepower. <laughs> uh, can you go back to the thing with the. Uh, to show me, Will, what you're trying to do? Are you trying to click and drag or are you. What are you how are you doing it? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I was trying to click and drag. Uh, <laughs> you clicking every single button <laughs> right here. I want this right here. That was awesome. Okay, power you zero out of one. Interesting. Why won't it let you? Um, are you in debug mode right now? Uh, actually, never mind. We can we can get it later. Just keep playing. Have fun. Well, try to without powering things. <laughs> oh, because it was being upgraded. Oh, no, was it, it was not because it was being upgraded. I did the upgrade afterwards. Oh, I, just lost. I was annoyed. Oh, no. You I lost ran out of morale. Morale oh, no. lost. I didn't. Go what throw what jump were you on? Uh, Ooh, can we put six. that as a as a little thingy? We yeah, should. Yeah, we should we have should that here. What jump number you were on when you lost? Yeah, or when? Just the end of game, whatever jump it was. Um. Actually, I think I know what was going with my quest there. I had the passive power that gave, when a house quest is completed, uh, increase faction rating and uh, belay that order's counting as completed for that. Mm. And it shouldn't count as completed. It should just. Everyone loves me, except for my people who are worried. <laughs> you're they're, they're loyal just, to they're, they're worried, loyal. worried about you they're worried about you really shouldn't reward people for having loyal factions but I they're like one day well i think not losing is reward in and of itself now he could just jump and ignore some some stuff either that or it can just factor into your final score can i add a final score because that's going to give uh, not, population a meaning. It's going to be the easiest thing in the world just to make one single equation that just says population times a couple of things. 
and then it'll just display in the final screen. Uh, I just shrugged, but I, I mean, I don't know. Is that is is there anyone opposed to that? Cool, because I have the feeling that doing something like that will give people an incentive to play more runs for things more than just winning. They're going to see like ships and think, oh, this ship has 980 out of 1,000 people, even though it has nothing on it. But that'll increase my score by a lot. Well, it's like a way of selecting. Population's going to be going down. That's already on my list of things to do. What do you mean? That your population is not supposed to stay stagnant. You're supposed to be losing people. Totally fine. Uh, that's going to be through all games, regardless. What I'm talking about yeah. is in Ship Picker. Uh, if they see a ship that has a lot of population but not much of other stuff, they might be tempted to pick it if they know that it factors into their end game score higher. I can't cancel this stupid order. Yeah, because that's a bug that the ship window is not Z ordered above your your uh, alerts. I think that's on there. Yeah, I already got that bug. I can't find it, Hans. That's all right. I'll find it. I'm just about to. I'm looking up where I changed it last time. I have no idea why I'm spacing on this. I just looked at it, but whatever. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Whatever. It is BP Celestial Object, theoretically. Let me go look again. It's just in there. Why did I not see it? Oh, God, it was collapsed. Duh. All right. Yeah, it's in BP Celestial Object. Why would I ever go to an O? That sounds awful. It's a, We need to make O's really cool because they're really rare. But right now, O's are pretty much terrible. Well, actually, gas giants are nice, and it's almost guaranteed to have a gas giant. It says that it usually only has one thing in it. Gas giants are nice. Am I misunderstanding that? Is that what that means? Yes. That sounds odd. I was being scientific. <laughs> <laughs> but but we can make it only have one one planet, but it may have a higher chance since it's rare, it may have a higher chance of other stuff like we could add. Yeah. That's where ruins are or whatever. High chance yeah, of bone it's... high high chance of bones files. High chance of anomalies. Celebrate good times. Come, Come on. Uh, 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 Gotta get uh, that up. Nate, uh, Nate says well, that the uh, frozen with the belts look awesome. So that planet plus rings is awesome. Down. And I agree. The celebration. I don't think I can be starving. Why is that? Oh, because Every, you immediately are going to come out of. Every yeah. once in a while, I get food, I lose food, but then yeah. my hydroponics just gives me. It, which makes sense because starving doesn't occur until it tries to take more. I have to check that. So, so it should be the hydroponics first, then the starvation. Well, hydroponics is constant, so it's just basically I need to check to make sure starving would occur if you try to take more than you have completely. Not if it's at zero and you try to eat. Um, I just need to check that logic. That's easy enough. Um, I'll add a bug. Uh, oh, I can't start exploiting something unless I have at least one thing discovered on it. Correct. But I can start exploiting it with only one thing discovered and then end up with all of them discussed. That's weird. Exploit. Master, master, master. 
Oh my god, I'm hopeless again. I'll just wait for this stupid aggressive exploit to finish then. Hey, it's it's win. All you have to do yeah, is jump out of the system and you win. Do it, Will. <laughs> do it, Will. It's hopeless. We won. Yeah, you had a crazy run, Ooh. huh? Yeah, that was not very hard. It is one of those weird things where you just kind of like build a bunch of stuff early and then you don't really have to worry about the game anymore. It can be kind of nice. I mean, well, to, to some degree, that isn't the worst thing from a like, if you can get a lucky early roll, like a lot of a lot of games let you have an easier early game and then you get to the mid game problems and we just don't have the mid to late game problems in yet. It's true. Yeah, we don't really have an arc to our yeah. problems. I think it's okay that the game is winnable for now. Or do we want to make it really hard? I guess what's better for our initial launch? Hard? I don't mind it being hard or easy. I just I want to add the score thing because it gives people something to post about and to strive for higher values. Like, I scored 9,522 points. What did you get? I got 10,300. Ha ha. That kind of thing. Last night, um, I was playing Slay the Spire. And uh, you know those places that you get to, the pyres, where you can burn a card? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I burned a curse, and it gave me um, spirit poop. poop. And yeah. I was like, what the hell is spirit poop? What is this going to do? This is going to come back to haunt me, isn't it? And then at the yep. end of the game, it was worth minus one point, And that was the only thing. <laughs> I loved but that. you got that an achievement great. for it. Oh, I did? I didn't know that. Yeah, if you get the spirit poop. Uh, actually, it's required, I think, for two achievements. One, which is have every relic in the game at least once. And the other is get spirit poop. Well, I got spirit poop, and I lost a point. Much sadness. That point was worth it. Admit it. It was absolutely worth it. <laughs> cool. Okay, why is it doing that now? We got anything else we need to go over? Oh, minus one. No, I think we're fine at the moment. Okay. We're good. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Especially our awesome patron, Nate. Uh... Nate and I were talking in the stream chat, and at some point, uh, since he has access to Ultra Tactics, we should play Ultra Tactics with him on stream. Oh, the throwback. The classic. Yeah. I'll play, I'll play Ultra Tactics, hell yeah. Which, which build do, which build to the... Uh... We, gave, we, give him, we just gave him a Steam key. Oh, so the it's, Steam the, key. it's the Steam version. The... Okay. Yeah. Don't don't I, I have thought about how much work it would be to port all the Steam map stuff to the new gameplay stuff and then I quickly ignore that because oh god and move yeah. on with my life. But does a freighter have five? I do. Freighter In does have five. Parts, I do miss it. Uh, all right. I'm gonna end can the I, uh, Okay, that's fine. Before cool. people Thanks, leave everybody. Off of the thing though. Uh